One thing I love about holiday cooking are leftovers. And we know that finding new recipes for leftovers can get a little challenging. Today I'm gonna to show you a leftover recipe using one of my favorite meats, ham. A ham chipotle mac and cheese. So we all love mac and cheese. It's a great crowd pleaser. I'm gonna put a little twist on it using leftover butternut squash and leftover ham. So let's get started. In a blender, I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese and three cups of skim milk. We're gonna blend this smooth. That looks good. Now I've already diced up one small onion and about three cloves of garlic. And I've melted the butters, sweated out the onions and the garlic, got them a little brown. And now we're gonna add three tablespoons of flour. And basically we're making the, the base for the mac and cheese. Now we're gonna add in our liquid. And we're gonna cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes until it gets nice and thick. I'm also gonna add Munster cheese and two cups of Parmesan. Stir that and we're gonna just let that cook for about 15 minutes. So our milk mixture has thickened up and our cheese has melted. It's looking beautiful. At this point, we're gonna add in our diced leftover ham and our leftover butternut squash. And just to give it a little kick and a little smokiness, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of chipotle puree. This is gonna give it a little spice, so if your family doesn't like it spicy, then please don't add it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And now I've already cooked um, four cups of elbow noodles, and now I'm just gonna stir that in as well. It's about one box. Now we're gonna mix this well, and I'm gonna put it into our baking dish. Beautiful, so creamy. And now, I'm just gonna top it with a little seasoned breadcrumb. And this is gonna go into a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. So it's been 25 minutes and our mac and cheese is bubbly and beautiful. And smelling wonderful. I hope your family enjoys this mac and cheese recipe as much as mine does. So for more recipes using your leftovers, go to dinnertool.com.